What's up everyone? Has it ever happened to you where you think that it's Thursday and then you realize it's Friday and all you can really do is just put your hands up, put your hands up. Well, that's what this piece is and I'm gonna now show you how you can make one yourself. I'm Jay, this is JBV Creative. Let's create. Before we begin, I just wanna give a quick thanks to my sponsor for today's video, digitmakers.ca. They provided me with this D3D filament. It's freaking awesome, and it allows me to go through all the iterations that is required to make these projects happen. So thank you, digitmakers.ca. Let's get to the video. Okay, let's do this. This is actually one of my smallest builds that I've done so far. So this only takes 10 hours to print. You can print the whole thing in one build and it's only about 120 grams of filament, so like two bucks by my calculation. So get pumped, let's do this. This is gonna be super quick. So the first thing you're gonna do, take your base, take the small bevel gear, and that's gonna wedge into this hole in the side of the base. You're then going to take your crank and this little knob, put the knob into the end of the crank and snap it on with a C-clamp. Then take the crank that goes on the end of that bevel gear, just push it on, and take the large C-clamp. There's three sizes, there's a large, a medium, and a small, you need the biggest one. That snaps onto the end, boom. Make sure it spins, give it a few spins, make sure it's rotating, but it doesn't have to be perfect. Let's move on to the next bit. So, grab your, I think I call this an oscillating wheel, and this hex shaft. Now the hex shaft goes into the oscillating wheel from the front. Now that goes into this hole closest to the bevel gear that you just put in. And you take the bigger bevel gear and that goes on the end of that shaft. Now you grab your medium C-clamp and you clamp that into place. So give that a few spins, make sure it's, everything's spinning. Just keep in mind, if it's not perfect, the more that you rotate everything, it will start to work itself. And next thing we're gonna do, take your rack, rack attack, and with the knob facing towards the front, of the base, that slides into the slot here next to the stand. Next, grab your gear with slot thing. Make sure that the oscillating wheel is in the top position. Now take your gear with the slot that goes into the last remaining hole here on, on the coming out of the base. You have to line up the slot with the knob on the wheel and the gear teeth with the rack. So the thing to keep in mind here is this is the lowest position that the hands will be in. So it's gonna be in the down position. So you have to pick the location on the rack that you want it to be. So I like to keep it kind of towards like maybe here, because that way when it goes up, I like it when the hands are super pumped up, you know, like kind of like this, not, not just like this, not small pumped, big pumped, just like that. Okay, so we can see clamp that into place, make sure everything's moving again, and then we can keep going forward. So the next thing we're going to do Take your two gear pieces. These gear pieces go into the bottom holes in the stand on the base here. So the key is to make sure that they're lined up in equal and opposite positions. If you don't get them lined up in equal and opposite positions now, you're gonna have to take it apart. So just, just get it the first time. It's hard to get these C-clamps out. C-clamp those in from the back. Sweet. So the next thing you're gonna do is take your top link with a slot on it. That goes into the hole on the top here on the right and the slot lines up with the hole on the gear rack. C-clamp that into place from the back. C-clamp the gear rack into place. Now you can do the other slot on the other side, just like that. Boom. Now you're going to take these arm hand links, I think I called them, and those just slot into these holes just like this. Get the other side. And then the final touch, take your hands, make sure thumbs are in towards each other, and that just slides onto the top, boom. And that's it. Simple, easy, fun, Let's show how pumped we are with a nice background and everything. Okay. 
There it is. This is a fun one. It's got a little bit of everything. It's got gears, it's got bevel gears, it's got these four bar linkages, it's got this slot and oscillating hand thing. It's got a little bit of everything and it's all in a package that is easy to print, easy to put together. So I am very pumped about how this one turned out. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Let me know in the comments below and otherwise I'll see you in the next video.